Good day, good day! How the honk are you today? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. Yeah, we got another uh, model highlight, and uh, I don't know if anybody uh, recognizes this. I got two of them. Yeah, and they're different. And. Uh, couple of different ways but let's take a look at the box so we can uh, see what we're dealing with we have got a new ray yes the new ray company is uh, quite a quite a company and they matter of fact they do so many Land Rover um, related items I have made it a playlist and I'm probably gonna put that at the end of the video there and uh, this came from KB Toys, which now is defunct. Uh, this is not uh, from when they went defunct. This is just a sale price they had. $7.99 was regular price. $5.99 is what I bought it from. Uh, but yeah, like I say, this is not from when they were closing because this one, uh, all the way back in 1996. Yes. Check that out. New Ray Toys Corpora Incorporated. LTD, but uh, yeah, 1996 is when this one came out. Uh, Land Rover station wagon, Land Rover badge there, trademarks of Land Rover station wagon are owned by the Rover Group Limited. Very nice, very heavy. Uh, there are some uh, specifications. This uh, 1995. Uh, model that they're looking at 3.6 liter V8 uh, yeah all kinds of stuff look at that power output uh, max power output and uh, max torque pretty nice pretty nice and they call this new ray calls this um, the super friction 4x4 plastic and die cast metal series yeah very very nice so these would come in a plastic uh, or a shadow box. Land Rover on the on the end with a uh, hole in there to see it. You saw the bottom there, that was white. I think the back is just kind of a flip. Super friction motor, yeah. So we're gonna take a look at uh, how that goes. But there's the model, there's the uh, white one. Uh, white top, green, green one, I like that. Green, very nice, very nice. Uh, Pretty nice model, like I say, pretty heavy. I'm not really sure exactly what scale. It doesn't really give us a scale on here. Maybe, excuse me, maybe on the bottom of the other one we will see a scale, but there you go. Same exact thing, just different colors. All right, so let's take a look at our loose bugger. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom and see what we say. Yeah, there it is, scale, 132nd. Land Rover station wagon, scale, 132nd. Very uh, nice underneath there. Not very uh, accurate as far as Land Rover. That uh, pumpkin should be uh, offset there. That looks, uh, but it does. Uh, and two, the other thing, <laughs> you diehard Land Rover guys. Yeah, what's wrong with this picture other than the drive shaft's not, uh, and they probably only did that because of the uh, friction motor, but uh, yeah, defenders. Yeah, this is a Defender 95 or 85, it says. Yeah, no leaf springs, thank you very much. By this time, they were coil spring. <laughs> yeah, so uh, a little wanting on the uh, underneath. So we'll put that down and we'll look at the, the rest of it. Nice bull bar, kind of, uh, kind of a standard for uh, Land Rover. That was their uh, famous bull bars. I always liked that one. Now, this is what I would say is the AA yellow one. Very, uh, very nice. Oh, hey, that comes off of there. Did you know that? And so does the windshield. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's keen. Way to go, Dan. Break it while we're showing it off. Ah, <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's just set that to the side, maybe, huh? Yeah, there's, there's the window if you want to see it. <laughs> All right. So uh, very nice depiction. No real uh, painted details on the metal die cast body. The rest is plastic, uh, rubber tires on it. And uh, we're gonna see it go in action there, but nice rubber tires. They do kind of hang out over the fender wells there a little bit. 
Uh, but uh, does have opening doors. Uh, the side mirror is right there located on that. That's always good. Yeah. And look at that steering wheel. Holy cow. That's uh, that's in your lap. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we can adjust that or not. Oh, well, that's it right there. So we've got a left hooker there. This is, uh, I took off the top. So if you're just joining us, start back at the uh, beginning of the video there. And uh, it's got the uh, top on it there. I took that off just to take a look at the interior, but not too bad, not too bad. Let's take a look at this uh, opening door there. A little stick shift, not, not bad for um, details on the uh, dash. I don't know if you can really see that. There we go, get some light in there. But uh, yeah, very, very kind of cool. I like that opening door on the other side. These are kind of floppy. They don't, it seems like there's no spring in there to keep them closed. But then here's the uh, top that just kind of pops right on there. Nothing too uh, fancy or secure there. Just kind of pops in there. Now I did buy these in the wild. Um, uh, like I say, I got this one from uh, KB Toys back in 90. 97 96 oh it does have it does have one sticker there for the uh, license plate there a little decal land rover on there that is pretty nice same tire that's on the vehicle is on the spare meaty uh bumper rear bumper and i suppose that's because of the uh the power presentation that we have the friction four by four action we've got so there we go. Yes, very, very, very cool. And it doesn't take much to make it go. Uh, just a nice gentle uh, push and uh, she'll go for hours. Uh, it is kind of heavy with that motor in there. Uh, it does uh, make it kind of heavy, but it's still a die cast uh, model. It's uh, very, very nice, nicely done. I really like this, but another model from uh, New Ray. I'm really, Really excited about New Ray. They they uh, went out of their way, and they um, the company what is it started in uh, started about that time ninety uh, mid nineties or was it the mid seventies? Now I don't even remember. I got my notes somewhere around here. But anyway, they they took off and they were in the business of uh, selling stuff. Oh, it's got the little little Land Rover on the front there on the front nose there right behind the bull bar there there is a little bit better look at it but yeah they went out and they've got uh, licensing uh and i don't think they have it right now i think uh hot wheels has scooped it up right now uh mattel i should say they do hot wheels and matchbox so uh, i think new ray is kind of on the outs for right now as far as the as far as that but uh anyway there you go well that uh well, it's got to, yeah, those rubber tires. I'm glad it has rubber tires because it, it does grip. So there you go. That's just a model highlight from New Ray. Like I say, New Ray is uh, quite the company. They put out a lot of stuff, but this is their Land Rover station wagon from their Super Friction 4x4 uh, set. What was that other thing they called it? Yeah, Super Friction Motor. All right. Do you got any of these? That's the question of the day. Yeah, come on over to Facebook, Roverland. Show me what you got. Or on Instagram, Roverland channel. Do you got any different colors? Or did they come out just in uh, yellow and green, which are totally awesome. Uh, my favorite is best of all Land Rovers would be the AA Yellow Defender 90 the 2007 because it had the automatic in the air conditioning removable hard top yes that would be the one i would always want but that bronze green is always very nice not too crazy about chrome wheels you know those are hard to keep clean but uh yeah this is this is one of my first uh vehicles that i started with um i started back in the early uh 90s collecting them and uh this was one of them that uh i remember was first ones that i had so there you go. So come on over. Well, first off, while you're here, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and then come on over to Facebook and join the Facebook group, Roverland, 
And then uh, Instagram, pop over there and uh, drop a picture or two of your new Ray Land Rover sa station wagon, huh? All right, we're going to call it a video. Thanks for joining me today. Your friend Dano calling off. And remember, kids, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.